What's up everybody, my name is Black Magic and you're watching The Mix on Ndani TV. It's been a great one from version one to version two and version 3.0 is coming out in a few weeks. It's been great. Oh, a lot of things, um, like I said, most people don't take lyrics seriously, but I, I am very serious with my lyrics. So I said, my style is such that there's no telling where I'd be. You know, so I might be here today, you know, you might not see me tomorrow. It's black magic, right? So what's a magician if he's there all the time? No, it's a disappearing act. Sometimes you come back, sometimes not. So, you know, version 2.0 was there. It took a while to make sure that I, you know, still magic, a new magic trick. So version 3.0 is coming out in a few weeks and then I'm back for you. I can't believe myself, can't believe I brought on EC. Ah, oh, it is it is a it is a new black magic. It is uh, black magic as you know and as you haven't seen before. So it's uh, it's my most personal album. It's uh, uh, a collection of my experiences thus far in all of this time that people have missed me, of which I have been putting out songs here and there, but you know, just making sure that the music was speaking my mind at that particular time. So this is my most personal album and I would say my most mature and you know, the end of a series, you know, so this is the, the apex of all of it. So I think you love it. It's a name implies, just, just bad intentions. Love me in the car and she put me on repeat. So it's, it's like my whole, my whole relationship with music, you know, I always refer to her as how she loves me, you know, and also the women that love my music and, you know, that whole reference, it just always gives this tension, you know. The way I feel when I'm, you know, with a woman that I love is the same way I feel when I'm making the music that I love. So it's just about, you know, that, that whole relationship, you know, about how I express myself and how I'm with the music and how I'm with, you know, a woman that I love, so. She said she loved me not the bed and she loved me not the beat. Love me not the car and she put me on repeat. Say black magic or ya put down. Say black magic or ya go down. Ah. Uh, uh, who? Never really thought about it. Maybe Orsha Femi or Timaya. I said Timaya. Maybe. Um, because these are people who, I mean, when I think about the vibe of the song, you know, the whole island vibe, you know, the, the dance hall parts of it makes me think, you know, screams to my eye for me because he has that, that crazy vibe and that's, you know, that reckless, you know, um, the recklessness with, you know, expression, which is what a true artist is, you know, meant to have. So, yeah. Top three Nigerian songs. I don't know, there's a lot. I know there's one by Joy Boy that I love uh, crazy. And um, which one? I think there's a song by, is it, is it Tay? I think it's Tay. There's, that, there's, there's a whole bunch. Right off the top of my head, you know, as you said, you know, top Nigerian songs. Joy Boy just came to my head, but then I know there's two more. I just need to think about it a little bit more, but off the top of my head, Joy Boy and Tay. It's a song called Lit. I think it features Tay. You know, I like that one a lot. And which one? I can't really think of any of that right now, but when I do, I'll say it. Ah. Uh, I think artistry, um, individuality, there's more of a bandwagonness. I mean, I think it's, it happens every now and then where, you know, everybody gravitates towards a certain sound or a certain style just because they think that's what's hot, you know. Um, back then we had, we had, um, Artists, even artists in the same label with totally different sounds. I'm talking about from Mo Hits to, you know, when the Cole had different sound, the Banj had different sound, the Prince had different sound. So every time they come out with the song, it's the same Mo Hits, but it's a whole different vibe, such that even when they put out a song together, 
for every part of the song where each of them appear, it's a whole different vibe. And then we had Nice, and then there was Dagrin, you know, God rest his soul. Um, I mean, so everybody was different, you know, showing their own diversity and owning their own styles. But now I think it's more streamlined. <laughs> the more people, more sounding the same, I think. Well, change is constant. Of course, it's changed. Um, I feel different. You know, I want to speak different. I want to say different things. So, the way I want to say it and the medium that's available is all different. So, obviously, yeah, I sound different and I have changed. Uh, probably a photographer. I'm actually, you know, video director on the low and I'm a, you know, amateur photographer on the side, but yeah, I would be a photographer. I feel like a freestyler every time I come through, but meanwhile, I still want to learn Kung Fu. This guy want to try me and my guys, look in the eye. I see he saying, you know, they tell like, you know, no, see, I feature I'm like chicken and fries. Chop non-stop with ketchup and pepper on top. But meanwhile, I don't feel fight at all. And you see the guy, <laughs> the nigga big small. And if I venture, just try to touch the guy. That is uh, if you just come on my right eye. But thanks to the Jack D and the vodka, and the six shots of Henny and the 10 star, I go take the guy, man, forget the same tick. Five of my guys and four golf sticks. The fine girls there can't shout, please don't shout. <laughs> I say, shout out my friend, we don't shout tight. Now so person through tear gas for air. Before we knew what was happening, smoke everywhere. All oh, guys decide to drop golf sticks and all my guys run to comfort chicks. In the midst of the tear gas, my eye they fry. I can't jump person. I look at the guy. And so we can't understand one on one. In look me, can't laugh, can't bring girls gone. Hi, my name is Black Magic, and you just watched the mix on Danny TV. Peace.